Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to do the first in the series of a DaVinci user tries and in this case today it's Final Cut. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and recreate my intro using Final Cut. I've only done this once before with Final Cut. It's only the second time I've used Final Cut in my life. Well, let's see how we got on. Okay, the first thing I have to do uh, is create a new event. Where's that project? I think it's a project actually. Yeah, and this will be intro test. Okay, and it gives me my timeline for intro test. So I'll open that up and I'll import some media. So I need to go to my pool, I need to go to IT snippets uh, and I need to go to B-roll matrix fall and you can pretty much leave these uh, as you can. I do get optimized media and proxy media when I do it. I just let it create that because Final Cut's pretty decent about that and it does so in the background. So now that that's been brought in, what I want to do is I want to pull it down here into my timeline. Now I'm not really worried about the length of it just now. Uh, that, that's pretty much irrelevant because that's nice and easy for me to change at a later time. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of that just now. I want to get rid of that just now. Okay. I want to click down here. I want to change that to transform. So once I've selected what I want to do, I want to grab one of these points and I want to make it one corner or one quarter of the screen. So if you hold shift, it goes down. Oh, no, it's not shift. So I'm going to command Z to put that back. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to try and pull it in. Oh, that doesn't work either. See, they don't really make it easy for you to size this up. So let me see if there's a key combination for me to do. Let's try command considering everything about Apple's command. So no, not command, not shift. Okay, so shift seems to keep it sort of right. So now I've done that, let's see. Okay, so that's the central point. Where is the, there we go. Okay, so that, that's a quarter of a screen. And if I go over here, we'll be able to see it's a quarter of a screen. Now, there's a bit at the side there, so it's not quite right. I'll have to pull that over and then stretch it out. And pull it over and then stretch it out. Now, it doesn't matter if it's off a little to the side. That's fine. Again, we can tidy up the little bits here, a little bits later. So once I've done that, then I want to bring back up my bureau. And drag it down a second time. Again, do the exact same thing. I want to click on it. Want to hide our icons. I want to go to transform. And this time we want to move it to the opposite corner. So move it like that. And that's probably about right. Give or take. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we've got two. Now we need to do it for the remaining two. So the reason I'm doing this one at a time is it makes it a lot easier to actually try and line them up uh, once you've actually selected them. So again, we're going for the bottom corner here. So there we go, approximation, move it down to the corner, uh, lower it again, and then in there. And then we're looking for that and then that. Okay, so you can see these don't quite match up, but again, not a big issue because we, we can tidy that up at a later date uh, before we actually finalize the intro. And I'll bring the fourth one down just now. And again, I want to transform it and I want to bring it down to the bottom corner this time. So yeah, this probably isn't going to be perfect. So again, I am a DaVinci, I'm a DaVinci Resolve user. I'm not a Final Cut user. So there's probably definitely little quirks that would make this a lot easier if I was 
using my preferred software. Right, so you can see these don't quite match up, but that's fine. So we've now got our four uh, or four videos, right? So it's something you'll know about my intro is I actually have several of them, but they're all very similar. The colors change, the direction of the scrolling of the text changes. The, nobody's ever really pointed it out, but my intro actually changes from video to video. So what I need to do then is I need to bring up these effects and bring up the color and bring up the color board. So if I bring up the color board one, what I want to do is I want to change this a little. So let's see what's the best way for us to do this. Can come in here, saturation color, and change it to color wheel. Or no, we'll change it to hue and saturation. So if I lift that up, I've got a nice pinkish purple. To be fair, that pinkish purple, pinkish purple actually looks good, so I'm okay with that. Go over here again. No corrections. Go to hue and saturation. I'll bring this one down. Should make it black and white. That works for me as well. And then we'll go for the third one. Again, you can change these to your own, you know, whatever suits yourself. So we'll bring that one down. Okay, that made it very similar, but if I bring this one up then, does that make it a deeper pink, eh, brighter pink, or black and white? So we'll bring that, I'll bring that back to the center. Let's move it down. Let's try and move this one up. Let's add in weight to it. It's making it darker. So these aren't really changing it the way I would like. Uh, no, so I don't like them. So I'm Command Z and them. So I'll just play around with these a little. So that's a bit whiter, a bit pinker. Oh, there we go. Now we've got an aqua color. So again, this was just trial and error. And then we'll grab the fourth one. And we'll maybe try and get this to be, I don't know, maybe a reddish. I mean, can, I, can I get away with just doing that? No. Okay. So, hue and saturation. Uh, try and go red. Oh, a yellowish color. That's a bit different. Green. No, that's not quite right. That's too close to black and white. What if I got that way? Yeah. Oh, that's such a better color green than it started. Oh, 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 oh. So. Uh, okay, there's a kind of ready color. So there we go. We've got nice four different scrolling colors. So let's just check that they all actually play correctly. They do. Again, we'll have to fix these gaps, but that's not really a problem. So I then have to import media and I need to find my IT snippets logo. I think it's that one. No, one of these ones. Okay, we'll go with that one. So import the logo and again pull it down. Oh, you select the whole thing. And put it down and place it on there. Okay. So it does set about center. That's probably about right. And I want it to last for the whole video apart from the last few seconds. So I'll say like that. Now, obviously this is a 30 second intro. My own intro is only like 10 seconds. Uh, so I'll have to chop that down. It's not really a problem to be honest. All you have to do is click here and then wind this back to 10 seconds or around 10 seconds. There we go, 10 seconds, and then do the exact same thing for the rest. So, the fact that I used Final Cut when I first started editing, not Final Cut, sorry, uh, iMovie when I first started editing does make this a little bit easier on me than someone who's coming in completely noob but still 
it's not a difficult application to use, especially for basic stuff like this. So let's watch our intro as it now plays out by moving the slider back here and pressing the spacebar. Okay, so interestingly, that comes in right at the start and it shouldn't, so I need to move that in a bit. Okay, boom. Well, ah, something's different. My intro, my IT snippets logo fades in and then fades out. The rest of it doesn't look too bad, so let's fix that fade. So what we do is we would select a little bit further in. And we would select the opacity and we would click here to add a keyframe and leave it 100% and then we would go back to the start and then we would bring that down. So what should happen is that should fade in rather quickly to start now. There we go. And then we just do the same thing again. We decide where we want to output it. We add the keyframe and then we move to the end of it and then just move back a couple of frames to where it's there and then change the opacity. So we should now have our IT Snippets logo fading in and fading out. That fades in. And there it fades out. Okay, so let's try and fix those little imperfections that we can actually see here. So if I can remember how to do it, let's try and turn off the second video monitor. No, quite the opposite of what I was trying to do. And this is where I get lost in this. Okay, so that's not quite what I was looking for, but this this is enough for me to see the gaps. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to bring that one down just a touch. I want to bring that one out just a touch. I want to bring that one out just a touch. And I want to bring that one out. And I want to bring that down. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if they overlap a little here. You're just trying to fill in the gaps. It also doesn't matter if they fall off the sides either because again, not always, the text not always scrolling down the sides. So let's try and replay that now. There we go. So as you can see, I just recreated my logo in Final Cut and it really didn't take that much time. It took me around 12 minutes by the looks of the, the, the clock on this record time. And yes, I had the files already there because I knew what I was doing, but again, it was a one file. So it was just, it'd be the same if I was using DaVinci Resolve and it took around about 12 minutes. I've only tried this once before, so it's something that's easy enough for you to pick up and remember in order to do it. I didn't want to do this completely uh, off the bat because I didn't want to be sitting really boring the crud out of people trying to work out what I was doing. So... As you can see, 12 minutes. This is the first in the series. My next one's going to be on FX Home's Hit Film. And I'm going to show you how to do my intro on that, hopefully. I have never used Hit Film before. I've got no intro or any kind of experience of Hit Film. So that one will be interesting. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe you should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.